Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. Today we're going to rebuild a distributor. Harley-Davidson calls it a circuit breaker assembly. But for the purpose of uh, conversation, let's just call it a distributor. And the reason we're going to rebuild it is because it's a worn out old swap meet special distributor. And there's nothing wrong with that. All you need to do is go through it, rebuild it, and you've got a good distributor. Now this is a pretty good looking old roached out distributor. The first thing I found wrong with it was the end play in the main shaft. But the end play in the main shaft, according to the service manual, always consult your, consult your service manual, is they recommend one to five thousandths clearance between the gear and the body. There's a shim in there that sets that clearance. And we'll get into that when we, when we put it back together again. But for right now, we know why this distributor was probably removed from the bike it was on, and that's the end play, made it very hard to set timing and get the bike to run right. So let's get into it. This clip is referred to as the cover retainer because it retains the cover. All right, that's off. And I'm going to place all the parts on this rag so I can photograph them. In fact, while I've got this cover off, I think I'm going to take a quick picture of the assembly all together. Now this is an early distributor. This is 30s or 40s. It's a knucklehead unit, but the, the, the rules all apply for a panhead or even an early shovel head. But if I take a picture of that, I can always refer to it later. So, let's see about getting all of these parts out of here. First we'll take the screws out of the points, points assembly. <clears throat> and again, this is an early distributor. So it has early style points in it something you don't see very often but like all of these parts they're still available you have to be very careful with this spring over here to remove this spring very gingerly would be the word we're going to take that out of there real careful like so as to not damage it all right the spring is out and we can take the condenser screw out. I hope my hands aren't in the way. And there is the screw out of the condenser. Now the points can easily be removed now. Easily? I said easily. I meant easily. Ouch. Don't do that to yourself. And there is the points assembly is loose. And with a 5 16 wrench, you can remove this nut. take the wires loose. So now we have the points removed. And the condenser. And all the related wires. There's the points. There's the condenser. There's the spring that goes in the points. And there it is. The next thing to remove would be the cover retainer and it's just a spring it comes out very easily cover retainer removed and this is the I believe it's referred to as the base retainer and it's just a piece of spring steel 
that keeps everything together. Now we can lift the head off of the base and it's off. Next thing we want to do is get that gear off of there. Now for ease of doing this video I've already removed the pin and now to get it off I'm going to use a number of implements of destruction here. To spread it. That's a plastic pry bar. I wear a lot of those out, but boy, they don't tear up any, any of my parts. Next thing I'm going to do is take a punch and a mallet and just drive that shaft right off of the gear. And it's almost soft. There it is, it's off. So there is the gear, the shim that was in there. And now we have the shaft out of the distributor housing itself. There's the distributor housing with no parts in it. And here is the distributor head. What I want to do is clean all of this up real well so everything's going to have to come out of it. Which includes the stud here, which is where the wires attach inside the distributor. Now when I get that off of there, I can take that stud out with all of its insulators, because it is insulated from the distributor head so it doesn't short out. Okay, it's off. Put the parts back in place where they go. And I will clean these up very carefully by hand so as to not damage the insulators. The only thing left now I don't know the proper nomenclature. I'm going to say the timing adjustment stud. I'm going to have to break that loose. And there it is. And I can take that out of the distributor head also. out pretty easy. A little persuader here. Oops. And the clip. So the whole thing is bare now. Everything has been removed. I'm going to put the shaft, the housing, the distributor head, and some of this related hardware I'm going to put it in the carburetor cleaner. I'm going to cook it overnight and the next time you see this assembly, when it goes together next time, might even paint that, that, that distributor head there. But we're going to put it together next time we talk. So till then, see you on the road.